Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I'm doing well. It's been nice and sunny out, so, you know, can't complain, right? Let's just give a, everybody a second to find me and for my computer to catch up. There we are. And I don't know why it looks straight on my... On my, comp on my phone when I'm looking down through it when I stand up, but then it's not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that looks pretty good. Hello, everybody. I'm on page 49 of the new catalog, and I just love the look of this wood and the um, stamped images here. Uh, I spiral bound my catalog, so that way I could do this a lot. Okay. And the sets that goes along with that are these two that I bought, but there is also this, these two, okay? And um, the papers that I've shown you before, and this eyelet um, embossing folder, you know, all, all the goodies. So what I wanted to show you today is how you can mix and match. Now, I kind of feel like I'm starting over again because I don't have a lot of product. In fact, I have a bunch coming tomorrow. I'm going to be so excited. Um, you know, get some of those staples like a paper trimmer and the new glues and some new scissors, which if you haven't looked at your scissors in a while and not quite as sharp as they used to be, might need a new pair. Um, so anyway, I will have more things. So I've been really limited. So it's, it's been hard to be creative. Um, as always, here is my stamping, uh, or my website, uh, Jackie Bloom Stampin' Up dot net. Jackie Bloom dot Stampin' Up dot net. Again, the online shopping is Jackie Bloom Stampin' Up dot net. And a shopping code this uh, month or for the next couple of weeks is three nine seven Z four U Z Y. I would appreciate it if you could use that when you're shopping. Um, okay, so what are we talking about? We're talking about mixing and matching. And I only had like a couple of embossing folders. So I decided to pull out this one, which is more of a diamond decking, if you will. It's called, sorry, I just banged my head into my light. <laughs> hey, we're human here. Uh, metal plate 3D embossing folder. And it looks like this. And when you stamp, when you uh, emboss it, it looks like this. It's really pretty. It's a 3D, so it really gives some cool embossing. And please forgive me. I do not have colors or much of anything right now. So this is former color. Um, and we'll just say that. Uh, until we get some new ones. Tomorrow's going to be a, like Christmas. Um, so anyway, what I wanted to point out was how deep and how different the back side or what you would negatively think is the, you know, the, the negative side. This is the positive side that we think of diamond decking. But this is kind of cool. It almost, I don't know if you can see it, but this almost four little cluster looks like little circles. Or they almost look like you could put little jewels or little dots of color and make them flowers, possibly. Let's see. Let's try that. What if we take a marker, which I'm going to do off camera because it's not, I don't have any new markers. And where did I see that? Oh, right here. What if we just went in with a marker? And actually, I'm going to just really emphasize couple of these. Bear with me. I'm sorry I have to be off camera, but I won't, don't want to break any rules. So I just put a little dab in the middle and then went around the outside. But wouldn't that look kind of cool? You could do little, I think I just thought of an extra card to do. Um, here, let's see. Um, I'm just going to use a, 
a black journaling pen, okay? And I won't show you what it is, and we'll just hope that that's okay. So all I did, and now I have to find it again to where I can see it, is, is I went around, and this is not going to be the best. I just kind of did that. And let's see, here's a better one I can see. So if you just go around and, hold on, let me bring out a Sharpie because that will be better. You know, more like a marker would be, and this one's really bad. And this is how I discover stuff. I just kind of look at stuff and see, what else can I do with this? So I'm just going to go around a couple to give you kind of a, a scenario of what you could do to make like a little cluster of flowers. Maybe they're, wow, that pen is really bad. Where's the other one? It's around here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, here's one. Let's see if this one's any better. Hmm? Not much, but maybe it's got a little more ink. Yes. So, what if you just had kind of a smattering of this? You just kind of zigzagged it up to the top or the bottom without being too symmetrical because obviously it's going to be symmetrical on you and this sorry this pen is bad too like I said I'm trying to be good one more so what if you did something like that on your project it's kind of cool huh let's see one more there like that so like I said just try stuff it kind of looks cool. So regular side or, and that one really bled through. And that's even kind of cool, just kind of a, a ghosted look. But anyway, but I, you know, that's how I figure stuff out. I just try it. All you can do is if it doesn't work, you throw it in the trash, right? Okay, so the diamond or the, whatever you'd call that, diamond decking. And then I pulled out, I had just gotten these uh, Baker Twine in these pretty three colors, which I don't know if it says in here. I know where they are. I'm learning my catalog. They're right here on page 28. And it doesn't tell you what color they are, but if you put this in the, um, if you put the number on the website, it'll tell you what the colors are. So I would suggest maybe writing them up here somewhere so you know which colors these are. And that goes with this paper, which I do have and I'll be playing with later. So that's the twine I used. And then I had just gotten, which these are now back in stock. These are the In Color for 2426 Shimmer Gems. And they are so very shimmery. Let's see if you can see any of that, hopefully. Yeah, I think you can see some of that. So I also pulled out a couple of those. So these are kind of not colors you'd really put together. Let's go back to this page. So see, they, they kind of match, kind of don't match, but that's okay. And I use Memento Ink because I do have that. Yay. And my stamps that I use today are from the one that goes with this one, which is the Country Flowers and the Dyes, which I don't know about you, but I love the, the Dyes. Here, let me show you. The Dyes are really cool because they give you the ones that match, and then they give you these additional ones you can play with. 
look at all these flowers and stuff. And whenever you see this little line under here, that means that these two are together. So you can do them together. Okay. So that's really kind of cool. And I did have some dimensionals, a little bit of them from my paper pumpkin kit. So I also used those. And then I used one other word. I used this hello from the Simply Said. I like this set because it's a nice generic set. You know, that you could, I'm trying to do more cards that are just like hello. And then you can put happy birthday, you can put thank you, you can put, you know, whatever you want with it. So I'm trying to think of, of different ways of using those. Okay, enough said. So what did we do? Oh, I also pulled out the Wink of Stella. Okay, so here's the first card that I made. And I'm using the Woods Paper, uh, country, country, <laughs> what is it called? This one here, number eight, Country Woods, yes. Country Woods paper, some black paper, again, that other color with the diamond deck, and I used those. All right, so the hello, it looked kind of plain just like that, so I went around with a colored marker and just gave it a little more depth, if you will. Let me see. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. I'll take still pictures. And also I wanted to show you that Wink of Stella. If you could maybe, maybe see that. I'll have to take a still shot. Okay, so I just offset the papers, trim down so there's a little bit of white to balance it out and give it a frame, okay? That's card number one. Now card number two, I wanted to step it up a little bit more. Still using these colors. Oh, and on here, I just colored with a light gray marker, and I just colored it lightly and then made some shadow lines kind of up and around here for the for the leaves. And yeah, I know, there's not very many pink leaves out there, but hey, it's my card. I can make pink leaves, right? So I did the light color, and then I did a darker color and just layered it up to get darker and darker color. Oh, I can see the shimmer on there. I wonder if you can see it if I do this. Anyway, I don't think so. So there's card number one. So I wanted to step it up a little bit, still use these elements, add in this twine, and add in this um, gems, okay? So here is card number two. Still the same hello. I didn't use the marker, um, and I don't think I need it this time. Now you could go around with a dark marker too, that would be fun. Um, but this one, this is all flat. This one I raised up quite a bit. I used my dimensionals on here. I did two of these and I did, oh, I don't know, maybe four or five of this one. I just put it in white and then did the color on top. So hopefully you can see that. Let me see, I'm waiting for my camera to show me would help if I make the screen a little bigger. There we go. All right, let's get to where you can see that. Come on, come on. Nope, wrong way. There we go. Turn around. Hopefully you can see those layers a little bit more. Sorry, I'm talking low. Okay, so let's go this way. And then I added that ribbon it matched my paper here. And then I like to cluster the little dots around the item and then still making a big triangle with them. I still got my, my 3D or what you would call diamond decking. I still have the black frame and this piece, just a little more with it, added this. And there is card number two. And that's what I have for you today. Like I said, until I get a few more things that I can put on um, on air when I'm doing stuff, I just don't have much of anything to work with. Now, a couple of other ideas that you could have done is you could have taken a black pen, the thin, a thin journaling pen, or like the, uh, what is it called, stamp and write pen, and just made a little, little edge around there. And that would have kind of 
made it come in a little bit, be grounded. So there's my two cards. As always, I always like to ask, which is your favorite, card number one or card number two? Um, also, if you're watching this on Facebook, um, or, or let's see, you're either watching it on, I do them on Facebook, and then I transfer them to YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube and you'd like to help my channel out, I would love it if you would like, share, and maybe even subscribe to next week. Like I said, as I get more product, I'll be able to do more stuff. And I love to mix and match stuff, so you'll be seeing a lot of that from me if you're new to the channel. Um, say hi and let me know where you're um, watching from. And if you pick up the replay, let me know that as well. It's always nice to see uh, where people are joining me and, and kind of, if, if there's a time that works better for you, let me know that too. And maybe I'll do a second little quick, uh, video on another day at a different time. I'm all about whatever I can do to help you guys out. So I hope that you will give it a try. Take what you have, even if it's a little bit and see what you can do with it. If you need any help, you know where I am. Give me a call, give me a text, shoot me an email, and I'm happy to help. Bye, everyone. Have a great weekend.